Hi guys! So, welcome to Socially Awkward with Rhythm and Curls and today we're going to be talking about something that is trending. This is always trending and I don't think that's like a good thing but you know, news until it's bad it doesn't really trend so today we're going to be talking about cheating! I said that in a really excited, like an excitable tone but I'm not really like excited about that. So let's dive in head first and the pom-poms. I did some research because it's not, just so you know guys, men are not the only ones that cheat, women cheat too. Men and women cheat. Statistics show that men do cheat more than women. Apparently um, men are around 20% in cheating and women are around 13%. However, there is an 11% increase in women cheating from the age of 18 to 29. And after that, it's just significantly more men that cheat. And at like 60 or 70, both genders cheat the most. So um, stats do show that cheating is different for both genders. For women, it's more emotional. And when they cheat, it means that most likely they're getting out of the relationship they're primarily in. And men can actually cheat and still love their partner. I think this is bullshit or whatever. Um, apparently, like because men can compartmentalize, they can just see sex as sex and love as love. So they can just cheat just because of their urge to cheat and not because of their emotional attachment. Again, this is not a generalization, but I think there are some things that we might not consider as to why people cheat. And I have considered it in my own personal research. By personal research, I mean my own observation, my own questionnaires, and just like in my personal life, seeing that happen. And, okay, so when I was single, I was never just like into like the fun, you know, hookup. But when people would try to talk to me, I would observe what they do when they're not trying to impress me. So like, I would see like, are they talking to other girls the same way? What is your lifestyle like as a single person? I know this sounds really ridiculous because people are like, yo, I'm single, I can do whatever the hell I want, I can, you know, again, do your thing. But what I've observed is when people are still single, they haven't cultivated the habit of being monogamous. I feel like everything is habitual. If I do something wrong enough, it becomes part of my subconscious. And if it's part of my subconscious, I would do it without even like having to think about it. It's like my nature now. And some people have to unlearn certain things, some people have to recondition certain things. So yeah, we're single and doing our thing, but going from one extreme to the other, where it's like you're a free bird doing whatever you want, you know, want to do. And then you, you see somebody, you like somebody, and then boom, now you're in a serious relationship or you're in a marriage or in your whatever commitment and you're expected to just overnight switch. If you ever want to be in a serious relationship or serious commitment with somebody, um, take some time out for yourself to recondition certain habits that suit a, a more monogamous relationship. Do some self work. Like, yo, I'm not dating nobody but myself, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm trying to like figure it out. Both have the same standard to me, okay? It's not different like, oh, guys can be out here just do whatever they want, but then they expect to get some good girl wifey. Like, excuse me, if you're out there slewing every girl, how is she about to be wifey? Like, you gotta keep the same standard for yourself if you're trying to have that standard for your partner. Like, I'm not gonna be a giraffe and expect a turtle. If I'm a giraffe, I want a giraffe. If I'm a turtle, I want a turtle. What I'm trying to say is, have the same expectation that you have for yourself, for the other person, because this double standard shit is not fair. So, again, this is my opinion, and I'm very open, I want to hear your opinion, let's start a conversation, and tell me what you guys think, why do you think people cheat? And some people believe in open relationships, so cheating doesn't really exist unless you don't tell the person. So, what is cheating really? There's the emotional, there's physical, but people say all cheating is cheating. I want to hear from you guys, tell me what you think. Until next time, we say bye! bye.